much. Thank you, uh, Ian, Martin. Thank you, Brian, Morgan, for uh, welcoming us here. And also for the creative signs that guided <laughs> us to this room, Ian. I think it was a, a brilliant idea. Uh, we, we, we did not feel lost, you know, on the yeah. way you know, to this room. So, um, well, uh, I, thank, I thank you all for the opportunity for exchanging ideas, for exchanging knowledge, and also for uh, having this, this place and this moment, okay, for uh, discussing our, let's say, uh, convergences, I think, and probably some of the differences as well, because this is part of the convergences also, I think, and this is something that we can also discuss a little bit later. But um, uh, this, is, I, this is what I see in terms of um, our encounter here. I think that everything started with a national uh, project that was designed by my, my colleague, Lin Mario Menez de Souza, and myself. We started with this national project for teacher education a few years ago, and counting on uh, uh, voluntary work from universities in Brazil. And we started very small, and today we count on 21 participants, I mean universities uh, in this case, but there are about 60 or 70 people involved in the national project, right? So uh, we became very happy when uh, we had the chance to expand opportunities, right, uh, with this Brazil-Canada Knowledge Exchange Project. So we thought that we would expand views, that we would have also collaboration uh, and exchange ideas and also uh, discuss um, our, let's say, our ideas about education in Brazil, but also having uh, colleagues from other places to um, discuss ideas with us, right? So, and also we became very happy when we had one more expansion some time ago, when the Ministry of Education decided to start a national project for teacher education that was very similar to what we had been doing, I mean, in, in this case, <coughs> the national project. And uh, I started participating in this team, this team to design a national plan for teacher education. And uh, I found it interesting that they decided to start with, uh, just a second, <laughs> they decided to start <coughs> with uh, uh, languages, I mean, additional or foreign languages in public schools. Understanding that Brazil nowadays uh, has a new role in the world and we have to integrate with other countries in this sense, right? So they understood the importance of additional or foreign languages in schools. So this is the reason I think that they started talking to us because we had started our work in this sense as well, I mean, with additional and foreign languages, although nowadays we also have more people participating from other areas, not only these ones, okay? So this is uh, uh, the idea of our national project, and uh, it, is, it, it has as its, as its proposal an investigation, I mean, to understand what happens in the various regions in Brazil, right? And also something that is called intervention, that means a collaboration with the universities and schools uh, in order to rethink with them uh, proposals that have to do with their identities, that have to do with their needs, their local or regional needs. The idea is not to have a national project to be followed exactly uh, the way that people in Brazil used to have some decades ago, right? The idea is to have, I mean, something that is national in a certain sense, in terms of um, ideals or ideas, I think, but also something that uh, can be reinterpreted locally and regionally. So, uh, to follow this kind of proposal, we thought of thinking of uh, the theories that we have in literacies, what is also called multi-literacies, critical literacies, and new literacies nowadays. First reason, I didn't mention this, the first reason here, but uh, we follow the traditions of Paulo Freire in Brazil, and uh, we understand that the proposal of new literacies in the world uh, have been inspired in Freire. So, we also have been inspiring our works in Paulo Freire, although we're thinking some of his ideas as well. And uh, I think that this, this is the kind of theory that allows us to raise awareness agency and critical perspective 
thinking about the needs of nowadays society. The idea is not to follow a model that comes from anywhere, but the idea is to make people have agency and teach us to feel about, to have agency and to think about what could be done in their regions or in their schools in order to uh, uh, accomplish uh, an appropriate or an adjusted proposal to their schools. Also to allow more international participation of Brazil through the knowledge of an additional language and English and Spanish, according to the Ministry of Education nowadays, are the ones that, they, that should be more uh, emphasized. At a wide scale in public schools, understanding that this is uh, knowing a foreign language cannot be seen as a privilege of certain schools or certain students, I mean those that belong to a certain elite in, in the Brazilian context, but something to be more developed in public schools in Brazil, right? So this is the idea, and uh, just for, for us to understand uh, that uh, our project, a national project that has had a lot of collaboration from the Brazil-Canada project as well, uh, have, uh, have been very well aligned, I would say, although aligned is a word in, in Brazil that we not, uh, do not use so often for historic reasons, right? So it is, uh, we see that some of the proposals of our Ministry of Education right, have to do with us because uh, some of the actions are creating a network of federal and state university professors to hold the languages and technology teacher education program, for example, uh, uh, organizing <coughs> workshops for secondary school teachers aiming at didactic and pedagogical qualification, uh, <coughs> offering Specializations, uh, specialization courses in each state, focusing on pedagogical education and linguistic competence, planning and equipping public schools with processual learning rooms or laboratories, what is called in Portuguese salas de vivencia or salas ambientes, uh, let's say spaces or rooms that uh, allow students to develop language or other knowledges, but not only inside the classroom. You see, just as a way to expand uh, 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 an educational proposal. And opening immersion uh, programs abroad for public school teachers, besides elaborating organizing technology guide for additional languages as well. So we've, we've been doing this at, at the Ministry of Education. And of course that we also take this kind of discussion, this kind of knowledge that we've been producing in collaboration with the Brazil-Canada Knowledge Exchange Project, right? And the national project as well, uh, together with the 21 universities we've been working with, right? So this is the idea, so I hope that, I think that we are going to have a chance to tell you more about uh, what we've been doing in all of these projects, right? In other moments. Thank you very much. <laughs>